Hello, my name is LifeXSHD, you can call me Fraser, and welcome back to a story about my uncle. This is a story-based game, so if you haven't watched part one, be sure to watch it, just so you know what has happened so far. Anyway, we left off here, where we were just about to do this rock thing. So I guess we would just carry on, as if nothing ever happened. Oh, we also learned about the mosquito eggs and the how they fought his frog eggs, but it wasn't. Which is a bit silly of him. Oh, we can just grab onto that. That was lucky. I didn't know if I was going to grab onto that in time or not. And bam, there we go. Alright. Ah, that reminds me of Christmas. Oh, I just realised I was holding the space bar, which is jump, so no wonder I couldn't jump then. Hmm. Ah. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? We'll never know. Ah, uh, this is beautiful. It's a shame we can't run on this bit, but I guess it gives us a good opportunity to take in the beautiful view. Oh, I'd love to see something like this in real life. It's a shame it doesn't exist. Aha! Who are you? Who are you? Hello, who are you? I asked you that question first! You're not from here. I know. Wow! You look just like Fred, but smaller. And with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle, and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. You know so, it. I'll see you there. And this is where we meet I Maddie in the village for the first time. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans, they talked like humans. How is that possible? It's possible because we're probably on another planet due to the fact that we were shot up into space, if you don't remember. Apparently it was a rubbish dump, but I don't know. How did Fred actually get up here all along? Maybe it wasn't rubbish. Maybe that was a cover-up. Maybe the rubbish was actually adventuring equipment. I don't know. I have no idea where to go from here. Oh. I'm assuming that's correct. Seems to be correct. And here we go. I'm pretty sure this is the village. Over here. Where's here? There. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I what? haven't seen him in a few days, though. This one? Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me. But it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. Okay, so we got to explore the village a little Madeline bit. Look at all these people. Later. Look at all strange. of them. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? So the village is quite small, so we don't need to carry on there for a little bit. But we do need to find the windmill because Samuel's cover is apparently there. Oh, look. They all look so dull compared to Madeline. Or Maddie, as she wants to be called. Don't know what they're doing. I'll help them draw. There you go. There's a good start. Use that as a template. Nice whistling. And now we're going to carry on. To oh, I almost fell down that. That would have been a bit bad. And yeah, I would have like died. Most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. That looks like Fred's stuff. This must be Fred's tent. 
Maybe that's where she's pointing to. But as she said, the windmill's over there, and apparently Samuel's Cove is over there as well, who is the elder frog, I'm gonna say. I don't know what they are. Hello. I don't know what they are. Maybe we'll find out later on. They look like frogs, or salamanders, as my character puts it. What's my character's name? I don't know my character's name. Anyway, over to the windmill. As well as exploring the place. I'm going to go up to ensure that we explore the full potential. And ensure that we don't miss out on any like collectibles or anything. This is quite nice. It looks like a... I don't know. A thing. Down we go to the windmill. It's quite a small windmill. But they somehow made it. And Samuel's Co, I'm assuming, is in that direction. But let's just go down to the bottom of this. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, this is Samuel's Cove. Did Fred have any kids of his own? Nope. Not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family, I guess. He was always away or busy with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village though. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him, taking after all that he did. Maybe Fred was like a father to her. She didn't have a real father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. That's another thing we had in common. I remember this, but <laughs> I knew this rock was glitchy. Still haven't patched it after all that time. But that doesn't matter, it just adds to the replayability of the game. Anyway, let's go over to this island. And we'll go and see Elder Samuel. Is that his cove? I, I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, I could have caught onto that. It's like a train. Oh, let's go. There we go. And on to that one as well. Ah, yeah, there's Samuel's Cove down there. But we have to go onto that platform first, otherwise we will never make it. I mean, we might be able to make it, but I'm not going to risk it, especially as we're this far into the parkour. Ah, there we go. And all that. We're going to have to do a sprint jump. There we go. And all that to here. Pew! And we've just found the checkpoint. This is Elder Samuel. A stranger in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred See, it's not my fault I've been calling it crystal. His suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it and go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Be safe. And let's get that third crystal to fully charge our power suit. Awesome. Now we can do three jumps before I felt leaving. a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? That makes it so much easier to go long distances now. 
But that does mean that a lot of puzzles are going to be set up the three jumps rather than just two. Oh, I messed up there. Oh, I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Yes, I am. That's good. And then we get... Oh, that's a nice pattern. Wait, did you hear that? Where is it? I can hear... Ah, maybe it's along here. Or maybe it's at the top. Either way, I can hear beeping. It's not at the top, so maybe it's just through the cave itself. So I can hear it. Just where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's down there. There we go. And up we go again. Alright, let's jump across. Oh no, that... Oh, that kind of messed up my jumps. I'm just hoping this one doesn't... Ah, oh, no, I'm never gonna make it! Damn, poo, bum! <laughs> Those curses, though, Fraser! Let's try and get up higher a little bit. There we go, now we can make it. Only just, though. I hear another beeping. There we go. There's our second collectible. No, I think. Yeah, that was our second one, I was going to say. And over here we go again. And we have to do a sprint jump over to that one, I'm assuming. And then use that to grapple onto one of these. Please make it. Oh, no, I'm going to have to grapple onto that one. Or none. That also works. Ah, I'm not even going to make it now. <laughs> Sprint jump. Poo. There we go. Oh, phew. I was worried about that one then. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to grapple onto it. And then we need to grapple onto that one over there. And hopefully land on this platform? Yes. Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. Oh, darkness. As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well, or was it something else? And I know for a fact, it was something else. But, I'm not going to tell you, because I'm going to leave it here. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all on my next video. Goodbye!